Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to a new What's for Dinner video. We have got an amazing week of meals. Super easy weeknight dinners. Really hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get started. So I have pulled some cooked and shredded pulled pork out of the freezer. We're gonna use this for dinner tonight, plus there's plenty for Luke to take for lunch. Me to have lunches this week um, and possibly another dinner later in the week, we'll see. Um, but for tonight, I'm gonna do some pulled pork loaded nachos. Now I'm just gonna be doing a single serving for myself right now, cause Luke is taking a nap. And then when he wakes up, I'll fix him his own little single serving. So we're gonna use pulled pork. I picked up some of this stadium style cheese dip, got some chips, got some barbecue, some ranch, and then I picked up some, or I also got some shredded cheese. You can put whatever you want on these, whatever you like, load it up, onions, um, all that. I probably will cook up some onions for Luke for his. But y'all know me, I don't, I'm don't. i not a fan of onions. So I'm just going to keep it simple. But I'm going to set y'all up. And I will be doing mine in the air fryer. Super easy. Uh, and normally, honestly, I normally put foil down. And then do them in that way. It's just easy cleanup. We eat them off the foil. And then you just stir the foil away. I'm completely out of foil. And I totally forgot when we went to the store. So we're going to make it through this week with no foil. Um, so I just sprayed this. This is one of my pans that goes in my air fryer. So I've just sprayed it good and I'll just have to wash the dishes. So I just put that in my air fryer at 400 for about eight to 10 minutes. You just wanna make sure that the pork is heated through and your cheese is all melty. Here is Luke's. He is up and about to head to work. He's gonna eat dinner before he goes to work. He said he didn't want any onions, so didn't end up putting an onion on it. Next up, we are doing a chicken bacon ranch sub. We decided to just do one big sub, but you could easily cook this and make this into individual subs per person. So I've just got a couple chicken breasts there that I'm just cutting up really small. And then I'm going to season that well with SPG and just cook that off until it's well done. And then in my air fryer, I am going to cook up some bacon to go on top. And then for a side, I decided to roast up some potatoes in the air fryer. So I never make the same roasted potatoes. I always just season with my heart. Just use olive oil, some salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, some paprika. I've even used balsamic vinegar. Just really season with your heart. Use what your family is going to enjoy. And I just cook those in the air fryer at 400 until they're all well done. I have just took and cut the sub roll in half and I hauled out the top a little bit just because it was pretty thick and I just thought that would be best for us. The chicken is cooked, the bacon is cooked, the potatoes are almost done so I'm going to go ahead and get this in the oven. I have got a couple cheese options, we've got some Colby and Monterey Jack, some provolone and then you cannot forget the ranch. I just baked this in the oven for about 10 minutes and then once it got all nice and kind of heated through I went ahead and flipped that top over and then put it back in for about five five-ish minutes just to make sure that it is well heated through 
and y'all this was really good i am really excited to try this on the blackstone because y'all know us we love the blackstone and so i think if we did this in individual hoagies and did it on the blackstone it would be amazing Next up is French onion bake. I was actually on the phone while I was cooking dinner, so I wasn't able to get this filmed for you guys, but I do have a whole separate video on this. I'll have it linked in the description box, but this was Wednesday, which was Winston's first day of school, and so I knew that I had to make this because this was his favorite dinner. Next up, we have a easy pizza night. I have been loving the Stonefire brand pizza crust. I love getting those on sale and keeping those in the freezer for quick and easy dinners. So I've just got those thawing out there and then I've got different cheese options. And then for proteins, we have got some bacon, some pepperoni, and some ham. And then I've always just used spaghetti sauce so the only really difference in pizza sauce and spaghetti sauce is pizza sauce is made thicker. Um, but I've always used spaghetti sauce and it's always turned out good. <laughs> So I've got my oven preheated at 400. We have got one pepperoni, one ham and bacon, and then one plain cheese. Here they are right out of the oven. It's about 12 to 15 minutes. It really doesn't take them that long to cook. That's why I love those pizza crust. The cheese pizza got a little crispy, but y'all, that was my favorite one out of all three of these. <laughs> Next up, we have one of my personal favorites, which is the sweet chili barbecue chicken. I absolutely love this one. I have a recipe typed out for this one, so I will have it linked in the description box below so you can get exact measurements and everything. But here I am just taking some boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and I do have one lonely chicken breast. <laughs> I just used what I pulled from the freezer, and it worked out. Um, I just seasoned those well with SPG. And then I'm just putting those in a baking dish. And then you're going to bake those at 350 for 20 minutes. And then while that is in the oven baking, you're going to take and mix together some sweet chili sauce and some barbecue sauce. Like I said, the measurements will be in the description box below. Mix those two together in a separate bowl. And you just wait to coat them after the 20 minutes is up. go along with our chicken I made some mashed sweet potatoes and some box mac and cheese in the instant pot So after your 20 minutes is up, you will take those out of the oven and then you will flip them and then give them one little brush of the barbecue sauce. I do recommend using a spoon to put it 
like a spoonful of it on top of each piece of chicken without touching the chicken itself because remember the chicken is not fully cooked at this point um, it's probably about halfway done and so you don't want to cross contaminate because if you just stick your brush in the sauce and rub it on the chicken then you can't save the remainder of that sauce so if you do it the way I do it it doesn't cross contaminate so you're actually able to save any of that barbecue sauce you have left over place that back in the oven for another 10 minutes Once my sweet potatoes were fork tender, I just drained them, put them back in the pot, and when I do mashed sweet potatoes, I like to add in some butter, some brown sugar, some heavy cream, and some cinnamon. I always just add a little at a time, mash them up, and then I'll taste it and see if it needs any more sugar or any more cinnamon. After the 10 minutes is up, you're going to take the chicken back out, flip them again, and then you will coat them one more time in the barbecue sauce, and then you'll just keep them in there for 10 to 12 minutes just until your chicken is completely done, and you want to make sure that it reaches the internal temperature of 165. Here is the chicken. Y'all, I'm telling you, this is one of my personal favorites. Luke's not a huge fan of barbecue chicken, but I am. Then you have your mashed sweet potatoes, and then you have your boxed mac and cheese in the Instant Pot, and I will be sharing that coming up soon. Last but not least, Luke is going to smoke us up some of these turkey breast tenderloins. Y'all, these were so good. So I like to buy these when they're on markdown because they're pretty pricey. I mean, I just keep them in the freezer until we have a good um, night that we're able to smoke them. Um, I have baked them in the oven, but my personal favorite is when Luke smokes them. So I'm just going to season them up with some SPG on both sides. You just use whatever seasoning you like. And then to go along with those, I am making more mac and cheese. I know. I promised Luke that if he smoked me turkey breast that I would make him some good mac and cheese. So that's what I had to do. I also made some green beans and potatoes. I just wanted to show that this was such a quick way to make green beans and potatoes. So it's just one can of green beans one can of whole potatoes drained, some bacon, salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, garlic powder, I don't know if I said garlic powder, um, a couple tablespoons of butter, and some chicken bouillon, and I just let that cook up. It's a lot faster doing the canned potatoes than dicing and having to wait for the potatoes to cook. So he put those on the grill about 300. He said he had it a little higher than he would have liked, but it was about 300 and he cooked those for about 30 to 45 minutes. So once your noodles is drained, I just put them back in the pot, add some milk to the bottom, and then I add in my Velveeta or off-brand Velveeta, whatever you got. <laughs> Just add it in and I always just eyeball it. I, if it needs more cheese, I add more cheese. If it needs more milk, I add more milk. I don't have exact measurements. I just cook that with my heart. Thank you. 
and here is everything you've got your green beans and potatoes your delicious mac and cheese and here are the turkey breast oh they're so good i'm telling y'all they were amazing so he pulled them off of the smoker and we just let them sit for about 10 minutes just to kind of give them a rest and make sure that the you know the juices stay in i always recommend breasting your meat before slicing it here is my plate y'all this was delicious And that is it y'all. I hope you enjoyed this what's for dinner. Hope it gave you some inspiration to cook more for your family at home. We had an amazing week of meals and all of these meals we still did on our low spend budget. So that was also amazing as well. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.